up guys welcome back once again it is me mold so happy to be here with you guys today we are on our let's clash account guys um oh one of my builders literally just finished <laughs> like a second ago what finished was it i don't even know what finished but <clears throat> i recorded some earlier and the file the footage got lost i upgraded both of these um so both of the that gold mine and that elixir pump are both going up to max. I think that is what I'm going to be spending my gold and elixir on um, in the next little bit until I get all of them upgraded because I'm not on this base as much as the others. So whenever I come back to it, it is great to uh, have all collectors and whatnot full. Also, I want to help out people who are farming. So if I'm not going to be on then they can come and steal anything in my collectors as long as it's not in my storages. If you steal from my storages, I'm going to come and find you and I'm going to come and take it from you. But if you steal from my collectors, it's okay because I'm giving that to you, right? So you guys can keep that in mind whenever you attack me. But at any rate, guys, um, I'm going to show you all some giant healer attacks, all right? So I have one that I already did that we're going to go and watch the replay on. And then we're going to do a live one in a little bit as well. And then we're also, we I guess we can just go ahead and upgrade. I want to upgrade another gold mine. So two of these are actually maxed already, which is awesome. Uh, I'm just going to upgrade this one up at the top. Five days again, guys. Whew, they're going to be great once they are maxed out. But let's go ahead and watch this uh, most recent attack right here. This is another. This is a giant healer attack. Um, and obviously it's a town all seven, and he has two air defenses. But both of the air defenses are at the bottom. So if you have a base like this in your town hall seven, you need to put one of your air defenses up towards the top because my giants are going to have absolutely no problem attacking this base and staying alive. And also the healers aren't going to have an issue uh, either. So uh, the, the whole purpose of giant healer is to get your giants in as far as they can before they die. And that's what you have the healers for. They keep them up. Eventually the healers are going to go down. Eventually they're going to go down because you just can't take out all the air defenses before you put them up. So that one just went down with a mine, I believe, an air mine. Um, so we have one left up, and she is healing up the Giants as best as she can. She is out of range of the air defenses, and she's also out of range of that Archer Tower. But now she's about to go in range of that air defense, and that uh, that air bomb just went off. So she is about to go down, but she has kept them alive for the majority of the attack without any rage spells on them, without having to use any lightning spells or anything like that. So you can see our king, our archers, our barbarians, um, and our goblins, which are all gone now, have done a great job of helping them out. Those giants just took a ridiculous amount of damage from both of those giant bombs down there, but they were able to take out the wizard. Um, and now we've got a couple archers up here that I'm going to drop down on the top. I use those giants as distraction, save those archers to come in, and at the last minute use them up. Um, the king is doing good. He is not. I've not used his iron fist ability yet. I also have my clan castle, but I'm definitely not going to use that because we almost have all of the loot from this base right now. So there's no reason. Oh man, where did that come from? There's no reason for us to um, use the clan castle or the spells if we don't need to, and if we get all the loot. So as you can see right here, they're still moving their way around. 55 seconds left. The king is down there going to town. All the defenses are down except for this uh, Tesla over here. The king is going to walk right through here and set off that spring trap. Gotcha. Get mess with me. And now the king is going to head down here. This giant is being a dummy, but it's fine. I mean, if he wants to be a dummy, that's okay. The king is going to come up here. We're going to use his ability right there. He's going to take out that Tesla and practically be full health. And then work his way in here and take this out. There's a little bit of loot actually in the clan castle, uh, which is interesting because this base didn't seem like it was in a warrior clan. Why am I yawning? Oh gosh. Um, so we're about to get all the loot right there. 160,000 gold, guys. 124,000 elixir. There it all is. Let's head on back home. The reason that I didn't get 100% was because of the army camp up in the top corner but guys also check this out we've got one two and one one and two one and two one one and two so that adds up to all those ones and twos adds up to 13 so we've got 13 trees on our i'm kidding so we have two trees on our base right now both of which only have one present underneath them they're going to keep spawning throughout the holiday season 
uh, which is going to be great. So uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into another giant healer attack, guys. I'm going to see if we can find one with a good amount of loot. Hopefully we don't end up having to use our spells. This has a good amount of elixir on it. Um, and one of his air defenses is down. Uh, should we attack this? Let's attack this, guys. Let's see how we do. So we are going to start off by taking out this air defense right here. One, two. And yes, it is going to take three. And three. Let's see if we can get this mortar done, too. Come on, mortar. Yes, there we go. All right, so that worked perfectly. We're going to go ahead and drop off our uh, one, two. Our giants up there. Drop off a couple of those wall breakers. Nice. Get them up in there. What are they doing? Come on, guys. Get them up in there. We can go ahead and drop off our healers as well. Go ahead and start spreading out some of our damage. Um, see if we can get our wall breakers up in here. I really want the wall breakers to head in there towards the center. There they go. Not that direction, but they're going to do it anyways. Uh, drop off some of our goblins as well just to get up in here and start helping. Drop off our barbarians. And now we can actually drop off our king and he'll head in here with the giants. Hopefully the giants, or hopefully the healers will stay on those giants. Um, our king's doing a good job. There goes an air mine. There goes two air mines actually on the healers, but they are still up and running. Uh, they are not in range of any of these uh, air defenses, so we are doing great there. We're about to get in here and take out this elixir storage right here. Again, the healers are both up. Um, the giants are doing a great job of distracting the only thing that can shoot them right now, which is the archer tower, because they are out of range of the air defense. So they are going to stay in there. They are going to keep on doing work. And look at that. Our king is actually getting healed up as well. We're going to go ahead send in the rest of these archers let's go ahead and send in some of these goblins as well and they will do a good job of working as uh what is our king doing the goblins are going to do a good job of working almost as wall breakers if you will our king is still up he's actually full health now guys because the healer healed him up which is awesome this raid is going so much better than i expected hopefully come on guys take it out take it out take it out take it out we got to take out that air defense before our healer goes down all right good so we still have one more healer up oh no that mine okay she's still up She's still up. Nothing's focusing her. This this attack might actually end up being a lot better than I thought it would. Um, I was a little worried about those air defenses, but we took out that one in the beginning. One of them was upgrading, and now our healer is doing a great job. Our king is still full health. You can see in that icon down there. That is awesome. We have so many of our giants up. As long as the healer stays out of range um, of the wizard tower, that Tesla, that archer tower, as long as she is not the focus of it, then we will be good to go. We've got another 38 seconds, guys, and we are working in here. The uh, the giants are doing a great job. There's so many of them left. I was not expecting there to be this many giants left over. Uh, however, we are missing out on a lot of DPS right now, their damage per second. Uh, our king's doing a good job. We've got a couple of archers up here being really, really dumb. I wish that that archer would head over towards that gold storage, but she's not going to. Uh, we might be able to take out the town hall in the last couple seconds and there it goes and then let's see where the rest of our loot is it looks like it is in this gold storage right here but again where did that archer go i didn't even see her leave zero seconds guys one of our healers was still up two hundred fifty thousand elixir that's awesome but that is how you uh giant healer that's how you do giant healer raids it works really really well i love that strategy without a doubt it is an awesome strategy um, definitely try using it guys it takes a while to train up but it's worth it um, again you want to bring three lightning spells with you to take out one of the air defenses and then you want to attack sometimes you want to attack from a side like if someone were to giant healer my base here's what i would tell them to do lightning spell um uh lightning spell yeah lightning spell this right here because you could probably take out the mortar so lightning spell oops both of these so Lightning spell, two spells on that air defense, and then one right in between them, depending on how much damage you actually got from the first one. And then drop off your giants down here and break this wall right here and then break this wall. And then the giants will go straight for that. Once that is down, then that's when you drop your healers or once it's almost down because they are going to take a little bit of time to travel. So once it's about halfway, you can drop off your healers. Healers, they will get in there and they will help out your giants. Um... That's how I would do it against my base. So if you're facing a base that you're kind of curious what you need to do, then that is a way that I would handle it. We're going to go ahead and train up another one, actually. Uh, let's do... We're going to do 18, and then 6, 1, and... Where's the other? 2, 
and then fill the rest up. Let's do 20 goblins. The goblins are good, guys, just in doing extra damage uh, and just helping getting rid of buildings quickly. And then we're going to do 30 archers. Uh, which one can hold it? Right here. Then we're going to do 30 archers right here. 20, yeah. All right, so that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed this giant healer raid uh, or raids. Uh, I love giant healer. It's one of my favorite strategies. I used to use it all the time when I first started out the game. You can go back and watch some of my old, old videos of giant healer. It's really, really cool. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Really do appreciate it. Again, this is a Let's Clash account. Hope that you guys are enjoying it. And as always, make sure that you keep calm and you clash on for me, all right? See you guys later. Peace.